Good morning, everyone. Today is not my day. I filmed this whole scene earlier, and then I uploaded it to my computer and realized I was completely out of focus, like, the whole scene. So, I go round two. Guys, yesterday I had one hell of a day. So, and if you remember yesterday's vlog, I talked about towards the end I was going to go have a beer with a friend. I literally went out and had two beers, okay? Went back home, chilled with my girlfriend, everything was cool, you know, I felt great. The next day, the next morning when I woke up, I like went to the bathroom and puked like one time. And I thought, oh yeah, I feel better, you know, because I had like this headache, kind of felt like a hangover, but come on, I only had two beers, how can it be a hangover? So I like start puking, and I end up puking like the whole day. Like I would just go lay back down and then wake up and go puke, or I would drink more water, and then after I drink the water, 30 minutes later, I would just go puke. I mean, it was hell. Like, it was, like, the worst. Like, I don't wish that to happen on anyone. I think I'm going to stop drinking completely. I don't... When I was younger, I could handle it. Now it's like my body don't want alcohol anymore. Maybe I just shouldn't drink. Um, gosh, in that scene, I had this... I got this letter from Uber. And in that scene, I actually opened it, but realized I was completely out of focus. But, yeah, this was um, what I got in the mail from Uber this morning. I guess I'm going to show you guys again. I've already ripped it open. And these are the new, um, these are the new decals for the car, the new trade dress, right here. So you put one on the front, you put one on the back. I don't know, they look pretty cool. I haven't put mine on yet, I'm going to wait till the 27th and then put them on. I'm not going to put them on earlier. I don't really like this idea. But I guess it does. I don't know, but this is just new California law right here. And then here it just shows you like where to put it. And then some more info here. So that on that. Um man, so yesterday I, I literally had my phone in bed with me all day and I was checking messages. Like, I was checking messages coming in, but I didn't respond to anyone's message because I was just feeling like crap. I also didn't film either. I mean, come on, I can't film when I'm, like, feeling like crap. I'm looking for my phone here. I'm going to respond to some messages on camera because that'll make this vlog a bit more entertaining since I didn't do anything except for, like, puke all day. And I don't want you guys to say, oh, Jermaine, that vlog sucked. So I'll still make this vlog pretty cool. I'll answer some questions here online. Hey, Jermaine, who do you rent your car through? Enterprise. Someone pointed out that I spell fares wrong in um, one of my videos. <laughs> I actually spell fares like, like going to a fair <laughs> instead of like fares like the price. Um, I, I actually corrected that yesterday. When I read that message, um, I, I corrected it like immediately. If you guys don't know, I'm like really, really dyslexic. So a lot of times I'll read stuff and another person will read something completely different and they'll be like Jermaine what did you just say what did you just read and I'm like look dude this is my brain like that's just how it works got another comment here um I've been getting a lot of comments regarding 10,000 subscribers because I'm pretty close to 10,000 subscribers I'm not gonna read the whole message here but I'm gonna point out a few of his messages are you considering signing up with any agencies that's a really easy question no um there are a lot of networks have contacted me already. Um, I would say about maybe two or three a month contact me and they're like, hey, you want to join our agency? We, we can help you grow your channel. Um, you'll triple your subscribers in a few months. You'll triple your views in a few months. You'll triple your watch time. You know, they guarantee all this stuff. And they also say stuff like you can use like all these songs that you couldn't use before because you would get copyright strikes. So they make it sound all great, but the problem with, one reason why I don't want to partner with any networks, one thing, um, when you partner with a network, all of your YouTube data and all of your analytics and stuff, it all goes away. So you can't see the, the number of views. The only way you can see the number of views are from the video. Like you can't see like the whole background, like YouTube analytics. And all of your money, all of that goes away. And once you partner with a network, what happens right now, YouTube takes about 55% of the ad money. 
And if I partner with a network, YouTube would still take 50% of the ad money and then that network would take 50% too. So I would be stuck with a much smaller piece of the pie. But also on the other hand, networks promise you stuff like subscribers. Like they promise that, you know, you can get a bunch of subscribers and you know, obviously the more subscribers you have, the more people watching your channel. So that means that, you know, the money's gonna grow. But I don't know, that's not the case of what I heard. I understand a lot of people may think, oh yeah, Jermaine, you make money off of YouTube. I do, but also realize this. I'm always on YouTube, like always on YouTube. Four to six hours a day I'm on YouTube. Put it like this, I spend a lot of time on YouTube and unlike, unlike YouTubers that go to YouTube to watch videos, it's really easy to go to YouTube to watch videos. You can just watch them on your phone, you can watch them at a coffee shop, you can watch them at your friend's house. It's really easy, you can just watch a YouTube video. When you're a YouTube creator like myself, a lot of times I'm looking for like fast internet so I can upload my video to, to YouTube. And then another thing about being a YouTuber, you know, it, it may look really easy on camera, you know, when I make videos, but the parts that you don't hear about is when iMovie crashes and I have to like, you know, redo the edit all over again. Or, you know, when I'm editing something and like I run out of space and I gotta go freaking look for a hard drive and like clear off my computer and start over again. Like, I make it look really easy online, but a lot of times it can be really tough. Like, a lot of times it can be really hard to like vlog, you know? Like, it's too noisy, it's too bright. Um, you just don't have much to vlog about. Like. Some days it could be tough to like go out and vlog and I do it every day like every single day like I have a camera with me like my camera is closer to me than my cell phone is now and I mean I love vlogging but I will say it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, it's not easy thinking of a freaking title every day like every single day I have to think of a creative title. Um, I got to think of something to put in the description. I got to think of tags. I gotta think of a thumbnail. Well, thumbnails are kinda easy for me now. Other thing about subscribers I wanted to point out, I noticed that when I first start making Uber videos, about 97% of the videos were viewed in the United States. And now when I go to my channel, that number has been falling like a rock. Now it's about 68% are coming from the US and you know, more and more subscribers are coming from outside of the country and more and more of my views are starting to come outside of the country also when I first started when I was only talking about uber um, it was like 97 no, it was 93 percent men watching my channel now that number has fallen like a rock too now it's like um, 80 86 percent men and way more women are watching um, way more subscribers from outside the US are watching and I think the the, I believe the main, I believe the main reason that's happened is because I've started to vlog now, and I've start. I believe the main reason that happened is now I'm starting to vlog, and before I would only just talk about Uber stuff, and that was only sorta of talking about Uber stuff, and now I have a lot of subscribers that live in places where a lot of these sharing economy jobs don't even exist, and they're just like, yo. Just show us your country. I really believe I've grown my subscribers a lot with making daily vlogs because vlogs are really, really popular on YouTube. Young people nowadays are like really into vlogs and that's one reason I decided to do vlogs and I'm still gonna talk about sharing economy stuff, of course, but it's just definitely gonna be more vlogs, more life, more lifestyle stuff because I see my subscribers like really like that and I've noticed that when I made that shift to like daily vlogging and just not like sitting in front of a camera just talking about Uber all the time, I noticed that, wow, my subscribers are growing like crazy. But now this week I've noticed that like Subscribers are down, my watch times are down, my view counts are down, my daily view counts are up like crazy, but my overall view counts are down, and I think maybe it has something to do with the summer, but I don't know, I'm just gonna keep pumping out videos, and I'm really sorry that this vlog wasn't like the best vlog, like I said, I had a really, really rough morning, hope you guys can understand, I will definitely make today's vlog better, because I'm gonna go out and vlog today, yeah, it's like what? 6 a.m. now this vlog is scheduled to come out in less than two hours so I'm gonna go edit it really fast pump it up to the web and that'll be that on that but thanks a lot for watching guys
Stay tuned tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a hit. Peace.